Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you Windows GUI automation with Python using PyWinAuto. So this is the library that allows you to automate some of the Windows application as well as some of the actions that you can automate on Windows. Okay. So basically, it allows you control over small things such as your system tray or applications like Notepad. MS Paint, Internet Explorer, and few other applications. You can access the menu of these programs. You can browse some specific web website, or you can type in some letter on Notepad and also save the file. So in this video, I will show you that example. We will go through opening a Notepad, then put some content into it then save it on specific folder with name of our choice so the first thing to do here is open command prompt then type in pip install pi pin auto okay once you hit enter it will install the necessary files for pywin auto and it will finish the installation okay now we will open one text editor and save one file with name demo.py okay make sure to open your command prompt on same directory or drive where you have that file now let's first import from pywin auto import application also we will import time to add some pods then create one variable name app call for application dot application so this is the method we are going to use and then we will call for app dot start method inside which we will type notepad dot exe Okay, let me close this notepad. Before that, we will take a look at this file menu, then save. So that we will use one of these options in opening that particular save dialog. Okay, so let's execute this code to see how it works. Type in Python, then demo.py. Okay. as you can see it opens notepad.exe and if there are any errors then it will be shown on command prompt so let's close this now the next thing I want to do is I want to access a particular menu from notepad okay so before that let's see how we can send some content on notepad so we can save that content in later steps so type in app dot notepad dot edit dot type keys and within this method i will pass hello world okay do note that even if you add some space here the type keys method will send entire string without any spacings in between so you may have to use type keys twice for that spacing in between these two. Okay. Now let me execute this code. And as you can see, it quickly sent that content on our notepad. You can also add some delay like here uh, time dot slip have four seconds of delay you can have it three if you find it too bigger okay the next thing we will add is app dot notepad dot menu select and here I want to use a file menu then I want to use save as Okay. Right. 
then the next thing we are going to do is app dot save as dot edit dot set text let's name it as five in auto demo dot txt then dot save then dot click this will save that text file on the same path where we have demo.py okay we will also add some time dot slip with two second delay here as well so that you don't see the entire action done quickly okay so let's execute that now it will type hello world then it will open that dialog okay here you see pywin autodemo.txt as name and it will save okay so for that save you have to specifically click as well right so you have to point out this is the save that you want to click and it will save okay you can automate this entire process not only that you can also use this for logging some of the errors you can also use it for scraping some website copying some data from website and you can use pywin auto for this process okay now we will take a look at the process where i want to close this entire program so let's say if i want to remove all this and now i'm going to use app dot notepad dot menu select then within this i'm going to call for file and then exit okay so it will type hello world and it will exit without saving that content so it will have one dialog box whether you want to save that content or not okay so if you don't want that you can simply comment this part out and it will directly close after a particular five second of delay okay so let's execute and see how closing of window works okay so like I said it will prompt you for saving the changes you can then use dialog handler for closing this dialog okay so likewise you can automate internet explorer you can also automate some of the application installations and a few other windows specific or other apps installed on windows that can be automated as well you just have to write more code in order to handle them so this was short tutorial on how to use pywin auto to automate your windows application or your actions on windows desktop